Let's roll a little bit to just stabilize. Super fan. She gets a war mox from super fan as the thing, right? How much does she have now? 7,300 HP. Holy shit. Honestly, I'm going to lock my shop for this. Because if I find a mana zane, that's also... Honestly, let me see if I can find it. Death's Defiance, Gambler's Blade. I'll go Gambler's Blade. She, re she scales really well with attack speed. Or Death's Defiance for this dude. Let's do it. Nasher's Gambler's Blade. And I have five toms. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Nasher's Gambler's, though. That's, uh, that's really good with Emo Annie. Because you don't even... When you have Emo Annie, you don't even need the other Emo Champions. You just play Spellweaver alongside it. So you could play this however. You could play Bruiser, you could play, like, honestly anything. Let's play Gambler's Blade on her right now, just in case I find something. Buy the super fan. Caretaker's ally. Nope, I already did that recently. As nice as that would be. Buried treasures, I feel like, is the right play. Blistering strikes. Nope. Young and wild and free. I have no guarantee that that's going to be important. Alright. What do I get? Yeah, but I think it's still Nashers. So I think it's Nashers, and then honestly, I just, like, slam the Sterics. Because this sword isn't going to be good on, on her. But I do want the Nashers. But I don't want to just... I don't want to just go for it, you know? Like, I don't want to sell this Gnar and then level because I have so many, like, tier 1 units. But we can... If we need the Sterics, we can slam the Sterics. We might need the Sterics. Let's slam it. But the Bruiser... Diamond Hands? Oh no. Is this good enough to kill a few units? Might even be good enough to win, honestly. Not quite. But I did get a money, so that's good enough. I'll take it. Okay, so what do we get? Sword? Yeah, I'm glad I slammed. Glad I slammed. Because I could do, like, Gunblade, but not quite important. This is going to be a lot of attack speed as well. I don't need this. Don't need this. Takes a little while to ramp this up. But I should be fine in this instance because Lilia is really not that tanky of a unit. How much health does he actually end up with? Okay. 2058, and he starts with, I think, 400 less than that. Pretty sure. Twenty percent max HP. So if he starts with sixteen hundred, does the Sterics go off of his current HP when it procs? Heart steel. <laughs> you know, it's really early on. I could just play the heart steel. Sterics is actually pretty good on this guy too. Screw it. Let's go hard steel. Let's do this guy. And then we'll do Nashers, Gamblers on Ophelios. Oh, the Eternal Winter. He's probably going to get stunned. Yep.
Come on, Cassanti. Do better. This Eternal Winter with Disco is really rough. It's a good thing I'm playing Heartsteel. If I got one more money, I would have sold both of these. And now I'm going to buy all of it. Okay, so with the items that I have, I think that a Shoujin would be best. Shoujin would be best. Honestly, this could be like... This could be... Ari. This could be... This could be a whole bunch of, of champions. Well, and I guess we play frontline here. Because I don't think that it's IE. So I'll just buy the Aphelios, try to get that two star. But I think with these items, like you play something along the lines of like. Ooh, there's a better Wait, bruiser. Yeah, I think that with um, these items, I'm pretty sure you play something like Ari, or we play something like... Ari, Ezreal... Ezreal's okay with these. He doesn't scale with AP very well, though. Lulu you could play. Lulu's pretty okay with these items. Full Crusher's pretty rough here. I got another money, though. That's pretty cool. Okay. No more units, that's fine. Listen, if I get four losses in a row, I'm okay with that. Get a pretty good hard steel cash out. I'm wondering if the play really was to stick with Annie. It's just, I see Heart Steel and I'm like, it seems like such a good idea, you know? Because Annie has a really high top four rate, but it doesn't have a high win rate. Another Yasuo. This guy has Death's Defiance and Quicksilver though. Quicksilver is going to make it hard for Aphelios to kill him. Is Gambler's Blade maxed out? Yeah. Stacks up to 30 gold. Gotcha. But I'm still making money. Like, I've actually, I've made a decent amount from this guy. If I can get Rapid Fire in, that's probably actually next best splash. Honestly, like, I lost that fight, but I generated, I think, three gold. So, that was good. That was good overall. And then the next win or loss is going to be my cash out. Show me who you are. And then this guy should also start stacking up attack speed because of rapid fire, so that should make things even better for for the drop. Six gold in stage in, in stage two is actually quite nice though. Don't need this guy. This guy does not mesh with anything that I have. The Shojin's actually like, yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. That's good enough for me. That is good enough for me. Okay. Um. Do I roll for Heart Steel Five? I don't need to. I'm actually so it's not roll for Heart Steel Five, and the reason for that is because it's not actually going to make it any better of a cash out this round. So I can roll for Heart Steel Five next round. It'll be safer with, with uh, knowing what my Augment is as well. Diamond Hands here is actually... I'm okay with this. 
This is pretty good. The Shoujin. I just generated even more money. I think I've got seven this round in this game from it. Seven monies from, from this item. That's pretty good. I wanted to lose, actually. I should have forced the loss. I'm silly. Late game specialist? I mean, I could go for it. But I think Silver Veil vale is probably the better choice. Reach the summit? There's something to be said about reach the summit when I have this much money coming in. But I'm also lose streaking, so it's really risky. Unified Resistance could be good too, but I think that overall, I, I think that Silver Veil is, is really, really good. So I'm going to do that. Alright, so we want to roll for the Yonai. There's KDA. Honestly, let's, let's swap out. Let's swap out. Swap out. Because having the Ari this early, I'm okay with that. That's cool. Don't need this Jinx. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. So I need Spellweaver and I need KDA. Finding the Ari on 3-2 was really, really good for me. But I need... I need a little bit more. I need a little, 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 little bit more. I need some frontline. I throw the bruiser back in because I was a little silly not keeping the bruiser in. But I was I was a little dizzy. I was a little dizzy. It's it's okay. It's okay. We'll throw the bruiser and the sentinel in just for good measure. Just for good measure. Let's roll a little bit to just stabilize. Super fan. She gets a war mogs from super fan is the thing. Right? My fans are the reason I think. Oh, I didn't see where my things were. Okay, well, I lost pretty much all my KDA value there. Let's do let's do Sterix on Nico. Get rid of my emo guardian here. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this dude. And I can find another... Mm. There's a Spellweaver. Can get Bruiser back in as well. Spellweaver and Bruiser. So I can take out Sentinel. I think it's a redemption. I think that's what I'm looking for. So I go for the Vex or the Misfortune. I'll take the Misfortune because that's what it looks like this guy might have been going for. So I'll do that. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. So we can play, instead of playing Sentinel, actually we do play Sentinel, we we can play Sentinel next level. For right now we're going to play Super Fan. Because this right here, that's big. That's big, big. And then we have Redemption here. Put the Redemption between the Bruisers. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the play. So I have even more KDA. I can play KDA 5 next level, or I can play Sentinel next level, and I think it's KDA 5. Yeah. 
And I could even, like, give this girl some healing, too. She has 4,100 HP because of the Warmogs and all of the and all the buffs that we're giving her. Alright, so I need to spend a lot of gold to level. Is it worth? Is there anyone that spooks me? That guy doesn't spook me. That guy doesn't spook me. That guy's playing Heartsteel. I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Sell this guy to make max econ. I don't think I'm playing Sentinel next level is the thing. Like, I think I'm playing KDA 5. Then I play Spellweaver from there. Yeah. Okay. I see what people mean saying that attack speed is way, way better on Ari than actual AP because she is doing so much. She, she attacks twice and that's that's all she needs. So Shojin and then the other two, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy, actually, to think about. I don't think I'm ever going to make her my headliner. I'm pretty sure that I keep the super fan Nico because... Being able to flex out the super fan, like being able to give her a super fan raiding item is really good because Warmog's pride gives a lot of HP and it also gives healing per second. So the healing per second is going to be really good. I can do a couple of steadfast hearts. I could do steadfast heart and... Alright, do I flex in... No, I don't flex in a super fan I do um this guy actually scales really well with steadfast heart I think so I'll do steadfast heart and protector's vow on him I'm gonna need the echo at some point too Yeah, especially with the redemption, I think that this that this was definitely the play. I haven't generated much. Oh my god, never mind. I was about to say I haven't generated much more money, but then I got two. Yeah, so I just hard level. If I get level up here, that's the most amazing thing I could get. Don't need Pandora's items. Don't need watch the what the forge. I could get jeweled lotus though. Jeweled lotus would be very very big. Jeweled Lotus would give her so much more damage. Let's do it. Wait, hold up. We didn't pay for this. She has so much uh she has so much HP already. That's that's crazy. 3800. 20 mana to the ally she copies as well. Okay, so if I level, I think it might actually be worth taking out the bruiser and then playing super fan. Because then she gets Warmog's Pride, which gives her even more HP. And then regenerate. That seems way better. She's she's getting how much? 36 HP a second? Yeah, I don't think I need more Spellweaver. So I think I ditch this girl. Ditch that girl. I'm gonna want the Bruiser in eventually, but I can put in a better Bruiser like a Loi Loi. Super fan seems way better. Super fan seems way, way better. But I think that it is probably going to be Bruiser over over uh, Sentinel this game. Bruiser seems way better with what I got. 
So 20% max HP. I'm still unsure about the math on Sterix. I need to I need to actually look into it. Okay, so we have 4,700. What 20% is it? So, that was, that wasn't 20% of her HP total, right? 600 with Sterix? 600 was, 600 is, is 20% of, three, of 3,000. She doesn't have 3,000. Confusion. Take the thieves gloves. Thieves gloves would be big, and then I also would get Sona, but I'm probably not going to get the Sona. Yeah, another steadfast could take a Hodge as well. Hodge would be okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Spellweaver. Just say screw it to this girl. I actually think it's gonna be like trying to, I roll at nine, I get another bruiser in and I just kinda go for it. But I think, honestly, it may even just be roll at eight so I can hit my three stars first. Really, really stabilize, you know? And then if I happen to run into the echo over the Gragas, then I run into the echo over the Gragas. but I think the Bruiser would actually help a little bit. Sentinel's probably better overall, though. You know, like, honest. If we're being, if we're being 100%. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Ari beat Ari. Mind you more? Hers, his did more. Man, get off my stage. Steadfast protectors. I just need a two star Ari. If I find a two star Ari and my three star Nico, then that'd be enough. Yes, yeah, so this guy has a headliner. He doesn't have a whole lot of Nikos. There are only like two Nikos taken out of the pool. So I can definitely hit my three star. Three star Nico. With these, seems really good. Seems really good. You know what Sterics might be going off of? It might be going off of the bonus before considering. Before considering the uh, KDA bonus. Because KDA champions get 30% max HP from KDA. Yeah, I think that that I think that that makes sense. Sterix is working off of that base rather than, but it's considering all the items. I much prefer this to death duty. Do you start Kalen. Just, just transition out of this. <laughs> I need this guy to die. Because if I want to hit my three-star Ari, that guy has to die. Archangels for my Echo? Champ dupe. You don't say. Archangels and then we have a Steadfast Heart or a Thieves Gloves. Yeah, I think it's Steadfast Heart. Unless I do Adaptive. No, I'll do... I'll do Archangels here. All or nothing. My turn. There it is. So I can move on from here. I don't need to be level 8 anymore.
How much does she have now? 7,300 HP. Holy shit. And she has shields. And Echo is also there to, to help tank. How much healing did she do? See, because imagine... She blocked 13,000. The Echo 2 blocked 9,200. Because imagine if I had my 2-star Ari. If I had my 2-star Ari... It might honestly... Like, the play... The best play here is probably not even going for 3-star Ari. It's probably just going and keeping the 2-star Ari and then moving on and then getting, like, a 2-star 5 cost. Ah, I kind of need to... I can't afford to roll anymore. I need to just kill people. Because the two-star Ari is big. And then if I happen to find another, then I happen to find another. Listen, the three-star Ari would have been a great tuber, but I gotta win this game, man. I gotta climb. I might be a four-fun player, but I'm a competitive four-fun player. This guy's got the egg. Two turns left. And he has... 59 HP. Oh god. Spooky. That is spooky spooky. Okay, so we go to 9, and we get... Sona? Ziggs? We get Ziggs. Yeah, so I think we just splash two legendaries at this point. We could also um, throw in Jazz on top of it. Restart Yone. A little problematic. A little bit. You know what? My Ari's on it. I think it's okay. Yeah, we're fine. Do I kill this guy? I might murder this guy. Get murdered, bro. Ooh, not quite. Two left. Two left. Two HPs. Two HPs. I could also throw in more KDA, too. I could go KDA 7 for my last two. A spark would be pretty okay as well, because I don't have any... I don't have any shred. Shojin, not so great. I think it's... I think it's... Yeah, I think spark is really the only right choice, and then we have Vow that we could take, too. Yeah. So we'll take Vow. That guy really wanted Bloodthirster. Not giving it to him. KDA Akali. I have three star super fan Nico. Why bother? Bloodthirster's okay. I didn't really have like a right choice, so denying him a choice seems like the right play. Because Jazz is okay here, uh, that would give some extra damage, but so would KDA. I need to find... But the Jazz units could be... No, the Jazz units, would, un, units wouldn't really even be better for me. Got 19, 20 gold from Lucky, from Lucky Streak this game. Or from the Gambler's Blade, rather. Who did that, TF? Yeah. The Willbreaker is really good against my team. He's kind of hanging on for dear life, by the way, so we're fine. I think we're okay. The Jazz units are going to be easier to find. I don't need to go for this right now. I need to just kind of chill. I need to just kind of chill. All three teams that I'm fighting have it better if I'm positioned over here. Because I want my Echo to stack up. And I want to kill this Thresh.
Yeah, it wasn't so great. These people that are on that that are on like death's door, they're actually really really strong right now. Okay, so I have these units. I have jazz if I if I wanted to play it. If I can find an Akali item, red buff or something, or if I can find another cannon, I can move these items to Akali. And then that would probably be overall best move. Another Ari. Edge of Night for Akali is okay. I could go Spark. I was just complaining about that. Maybe I go Spark on Akali. So we do this. Right? Yeah, it's a little dizzy. Spark on this guy until Actually I'll go I'll go Spark on Nar because Nar is going to be in position for the Ari. For a while at least. Yeah, because Nar doesn't like tank a lot, but he does survive for a while because he's second row. Who's doing that? Jax? See, I thought Jax reroll was gonna be pretty good. Alright, so I need to throw this girl in. If I can hit 10, then I can just play the Jazz. If I'm if I'm gonna beat anyone, I feel like it would be that guy. You know? And I feel like for the Caitlyn, it's honestly even better for me to just throw in units over here. Man, I hope I don't die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No! No! Damn it. I just, I feel like I wasn't gonna hit any other upgrades. Like, maybe two-star Akali could have been good, but let's see if I get... Yeah, so I get third. That's not bad. You know, I think that's, that's good enough to be a tuber. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. All the love and, and support and whatnot, so... Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll do plenty more of this. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.